<clears throat> so last time we looked at um, going for that first initial grip for the cross choke. Let's just recap. So I take the slack out of the pile. Right hand come in. Matthew defended the first primary grip for the cross choke by making that grip. He knows Jiu Jitsu, so he's keeping his elbow tight to this body. So I'm posting with my hand. I start to curl in a little bit, just to put a little bit of pressure on him. And you'll always get just this raising a little bit. But what actually gives me the open elbow is I widen my knees and drop my hips. My left hip goes right under, just like a scoop underneath his right elbow. Once I'm there, my thumb points down, fingers pointing towards his legs, so he can't move his elbow. And then I walk the foot up. Put pressure on his head so I engage my hips. And then a windshield wiper my left butt. And now from there, my foot replaces and we're back into the arm bar. But we can go for the arm bar or the attempted arm bar and go back to the cross choke just with the profile of our hand here. It's easy to get the, the thumb and the collar and go back to the cross choke so I don't have to follow through with the arm bar. So if I take the slack out of the lapel, make my first initial primary grip, Matthew makes his grip. Post my hand on the mat, slight curve, just to get a little bit of a profile on his right elbow. Wide my knees and drop my hips, and then I slide up on my knee. Left hand comes in, and again I could be walking my foot up, engaging my hip, maybe about to hit the arm bar, and maybe I feel the arm bar's not on, or Matthew's already went hand to hand, and they don't want to get into that battle of the spider web. So my left hand, the thumb just comes into the collar. And now from there, um, we're going for the over grip. I just bring my elbow underneath. Now if he's tucked his chin, not car jack again, I just raise down, raise down. And now from there, I'm staying in technical mode. And now the curl of my wrist gets the choke. Uh, if Matthew tries to um, bridge or do anything, this is why I want to stay in team out. I just put all the weight on my left knee and my right foot's floating. So wherever he goes, Take the slack out of the lapel, first hand comes in, post my hand, slight curve just to get a profile, widen my knees, slide my knee up, left hand comes in, stop him freeing his elbow, and then I walk my foot up, engage my hips, and I'm about to windshield wiper my left foot and I feel I'm not going to go for the armbar, I just put my thumb inside the collar. And then bring my elbow back underneath. And we have that over grip. Just one more time on that side, bro. So take the slack out. Right hand comes in. Slight curl. Wide my knees. Lower my hips. Hand comes in. And from there, I'm starting to walk my foot up. Maybe I feel he's went hand to hand. So this hand. My hands are already there, that thumb just comes in. And now from there, I just bring my elbow under the chin and sit back on my, on my hip. So that's arm bar back to the cross choke. So you 